In the past few months, there have been some updates to the features in Glean. Let's start with transcripts. In Glean, you can generate a transcript of your recording by clicking the Transcribe Audio button. However, Glean have now added the option of generating the transcript in over 30 different languages, depending on the language being spoken in the recording. Please note that a transcript will only be produced if the language that has been spoken in the recording matches the transcript language that you have selected. So, for example, Glean will not translate an English recording into a French transcript. You also now have the option of deleting a transcript you have generated by going to your event options and selecting Delete Transcript. This could be helpful if you are studying a subject that works with a lot of confidential data, such as medicine. This means you can use the transcript for learning the content and delete it once you are done so any confidential data is secure. Next, there is a new feature called QuizMe that uses AI to analyse the transcript of your recording and then ask you questions based on the content of your recording. This allows you to test how much you have picked up from a lecture or tutorial, or simply to test your knowledge before an upcoming test, exam or assignment. To use the QuizMe feature within an event, simply click on the QuizMe icon, a little graduation hat surrounded by stars that is located in the top right menu within the event screen. To start a quiz, simply select the Start the Quiz button. This will show the first multiple choice question that is based around what has been picked up in your transcription. Select the answer that you think is correct, and if your answer is highlighted in green with a tick next to it, then you pick the correct answer. If you select the incorrect answer, your answer will be highlighted in red with an X next to it, and the correct answer will be highlighted in green with a tick next to it. You will be presented with five multiple choice questions to answer, and once you have finished the quiz, select the Show Results button. This will show you how many of the five questions you answered correctly, and give you some more details on the correct answers of each of the questions. You then have the option to retake the same quiz if you answered any questions incorrectly, generate a new quiz with new questions, or exit QuizMe and return back to your event. This is a very useful feature for testing your knowledge on the content in a recording. However, there are a couple of important things to note here. Firstly, AI can hallucinate from time to time, and, for example, can sometimes confidently say that an answer you know is correct is actually wrong. Due to this, it is best to use the QuizMe feature to test yourself on content that you are already quite familiar with. This will allow you to more easily spot when an answer or part of the quiz doesn't look right, so you can double check whether this is correct by going back through your notes. Additionally, the quality of the quiz relies on the quality of your transcript. If you haven't got a good recording and the transcript is not accurate, then the quiz will likely not be accurate or useful either. Due to this, you should always try to get the best recording quality by using an external microphone if possible, and sitting as close to the speaker as possible in the lecture hall or classroom. Next, there is a new card type called Scribble, which allows you to either handwrite some notes or draw something such as a graph for example and insert this into your notes. As with all the other cards, this will be linked to the section of the audio where you press the Scribble button. While this feature is available on the desktop version of Glean, it will likely work better with a tablet or phone, especially if you have access to a stylus to use with these. Finally, just a quick note to say that Lightning Mode has now been rebranded as Quick Notes. This functions exactly the same as Lightning Mode in that it removes the text field and allows a user to use keyboard shortcuts and buttons to add cards and makes the whole process a bit quicker and allows them to focus on the content they are recording. And that's all the major recent updates to Glean.